Hey guys, uh, happy Monday to us all. It is December 14th, it is 11.10 in the morning, 11.09 anyway. And uh, I'm done for the day, I'm done for the day. I traded one, one trade, I traded Z or Z, whatever, you know, depending on where you are. Um, in any case, I traded Zillow Group, and um, it was a win, a small win, like a single, 13.26%. But um, this week is a options expiration week, which means that the markets are traditionally a lot choppier than they usually are, so movements don't tend to have as much follow-through as they usually would and that applies to both movements to the upside and to the downside. So, uh, moral of the story, during options expiration, you guys should stay humble, or even more humble than usual, all right? Okay, so what did I do today? Let's see. As I said, I traded this guy, Z, um, for us Canadians, and I went in at 10.28, which is... Opa. Right, I know what I did. I set my order at 1028, but the bid and the ask were a bit, a, you know, a little bit apart. So I set my order um, closer to the bid, and I got filled in this retracement. Right? You guys see this? Boom, and then it went up. Right? So even though I set my order in this candle, um, I got filled in this retracement and then the price continued to go up. Great, that's excellent news. I got out at, I got out at 10.49, which is towards the beginning of this candle. Why, why did I do that? Why was it such a quick trade? Uh, let, me, let me go to the five minute. All right, so 10.28, ta, 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 ta. so here, this is where I set my order. I got filled somewhere in here, and uh, I got out here. Okay, so what did I see? In the morning, Z pushed up. Great. Then it st stuck around, retraced a little bit, but you know, maintained its its uh, its gains, right? When I thought it was gonna keep going. I mean, the, the spread was a bit wide, so I thought it was going to keep going, but I didn't want to overpay, so I set my order closer to the limit, um, to the bid, sorry, and, um, and I got filled. Great, excellent. Now, trade went up, very good, very good, and here it started to just bump its head on this level, which it hadn't been able to break all day and it might now but it still hasn't right and given like i said that it's options expiration week and things tend to not have as much hump behind them um there's a lot more chop in the market i just decided to play it safe and collect my gain okay um so that was Z, and like i said uh 13.26% gain in at 10.28 in the morning, out at 10.49, like that's what, like 20 minutes for 13%, I will take that, I will take that, okay? All right, now, uh, full disclosure, oh, well, actually, one thing that I wanted to explain to you, and then I'll, I'll go into full disclosure mode, but one thing that I wanted to explain to you, the SPY is breaking down, right? That's something else that made me want to get out. I, I saw that the SPY was pretty much flat. It's green for the day. It gupped up, but this is the SPY not going anywhere, right? And if you look at the daily, it has this level to break and it can't really push through it, right? So yeah, I don't really see it going anywhere. And now it broke down broke down, retested, and it broke down again, right? So that would be, in theory, a setup for me that I could benefit from to the downside. 
why am I not taking it? Because the SPY is still green for the day. It's still up by 0.50%, right? So I only trade long plays to the upside that are green for the day and vice versa. Short plays to the downside that are red for the day. Um, and yeah, the cherry on top is that it's options expiration week again. Okay, so that's for the SPY. Now, full disclosure mode. I wanted to go in right here because why? Oh my God, it broke down. It broke up. It broke out, right? Oh my God, yes, let's go in. I set my order. I didn't get filled. I... I didn't get filled and I quite frankly dodged a bullet because this turned around right away. And I actually cancelled my order before before I got filled. And I am just happy I did because the, yeah, this was not a move that had any strength behind it. The pattern was great, but the momentum was not there, possibly because of the spy being so like flat today. But yeah, anyway. Right, so that's it for, oh yeah, and uh, JKS, this is one that I've been holding for a couple of days, and I got here. I was like, oh guys, look, it's holding this level. Well, today I say, oh guys, look, it broke this level. But like I said in the beginning, um, in the beginning of this trade a few days ago, this is a, this is a very small position, and if it ends up being 100% loss, so be it, you know, 100% of a small position is a small loss and it's not going to hurt me. Um, and just as a curiosity, who knows, right? Like anything might happen from here. Uh, for all I know, this might just retest and then keep crashing down. But today, it hasn't been able to break this low, right? Who knows? Who knows? I still have until Friday, which is not long, but you know. Still have a few days for it to do something. Uh, it's a $60 call, so we're like $7 away. Who knows? You know, maybe we break this level and we squeeze some shorts. Who knows? But like I said, I'm ready to let this, you know, expire worthless for 100% loss. It doesn't really matter. It's, it's not going to hurt me anyway. Okay. Um, so, yeah, having said that, let's look. Let's take one more look at this guy. Yeah, see guys how it's having a hard time with this level? I mean, it might, like, who knows? As soon as I finish this video, it might just skyrocket to 140. Maybe, maybe. But you guys know that I like to play it safe. Maybe even too safe, I don't know. There's no such thing as too safe, by the way. Um, and if I take my gains here, and I do it consistently, I will be here again tomorrow to trade. If I get adventurous, uh, I will give my, my gains back to the market. Okay? Um, the market has a way of claiming back any gains that you get by being adventurous. Um, and then some more, or a lot more. All right, guys? So... I have told you a few times already since I started to post, trade scared, trade safe, okay? Because no one trade really matters. No one trade is going to make you rich. Um, no one trade is going to allow you to retire, realistically speaking, anyway. Um, but your trading career is always just one bad trade away from being over, all right? So keep that in mind. Okay, guys? Oh, <laughs> look at it go. Anyway, that looks like it's going now, but whatever. Uh, we're just happy with our single during options exp expiration week. And um, I'll be here again tomorrow. All right? Okay, guys. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye.